In this video, we're going to show you to install the passenger side rear catalytic converter on your Nissan Frontier located underneath your vehicle. And underneath here on the passenger side, you're going to locate the rear O2 sensor. This is the downstream. Use a 22 millimeter wrench. And we want to try and loosen this. Now what we're doing is just going to break this free from the pipe. Before we continue to spin this out, we're going to follow the wire up and it goes to a connector just a few inches up on the side here. Now if you follow the wire up, we have the wiring harness right here. There's a little tab on the back side. Now normally you can pinch that with your thumb and pull the connectors apart, but this has some mileage on it. This is some sand is probably stuck in there. So I'm just using some hose pliers kind of get around and I'm just going to use that to assist in pinching this little lock tab and then pull the other connector out of it. Just like that. Now with this disconnected, we can go ahead and unscrew the O2 sensor from the pipe. Ideally what you want to do is hold that wire and rotate the wire with it. You don't want it to twist on itself. And go ahead and set that aside. Behind our rear cat here, we have two bolts. You wanna go ahead and remove those. Ours has already been fiddled with before, so we have a 17 mil here and a 16 mil bolt here. Whatever you have for hardware, you wanna go ahead, loosen and remove. Now on the front side here, we have a front cat bolted to the flange here, and then our rear cat we're working on. We're gonna use our 14 millimeter wrench, loosen and remove the bolts. As you remove the second bolt, the pipe will probably wanna drop down, so just be careful of that. Gently pry this apart, pull that down. Go we'll ahead and remove the pipe from the vehicle. I want to inspect the flange on the cat pipe here. Make sure there's no gasket, make sure it's not corroded, make sure it has a nice smooth surface, and ours does. Let's go ahead to the back pipe up here. We have a remainder of a gasket sitting here. Go ahead and pop that off. Do the same thing, inspect the flange. Make sure it's smooth, not corroded. Now, if you do have corroded flanges, you wanna go ahead and repair it or replace the back pipe or whatever you need to do. Ours is in good shape. You're gonna take your cat and take the donut, fit that on. If you have a regular O-ring donut, it'll just fit right on this. If you have the tapered steel style here, you want that cone to be facing upward. Feed this up into place. Feed that flange in and over. Take your new gasket, slide this up into place. We did source replacement hardware for this. You can reuse your original hardware if you'd like.
make sure these make sure these are good and tight. Make sure there is no gap between the two flanges. Make sure it's nice and tight. Let's now go ahead and tighten the two up front. Let's tighten these two down. tightening this here, you want to inspect in between, make sure that the gasket itself is crushed and sealed. And take your sensor. I'm going to thread that in. As we spin this in, you want to make sure that you spin the wire harness with it. We don't want that to bind up. using a 22 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and tighten this down. Now once you feel it start to tighten down, you're gonna feel the crush washer starting to collapse. You wanna make sure that it is fully collapsed and that the O2 sensor is in there nice and tight. sensor harness here. Good, push it together. Make sure you feel it and hear it lock into place. Ours would have had a metal tab up top for you to secure that on and you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.